is better at creating thumbnails? A human or artificial intelligence? Every YouTuber knows a good thumbnail is one of the most important parts of a video. You can make the best video to ever exist. However, if you have a bad thumbnail, nobody would watch it. If people yes. don't click, they don't watch. Exactly. So with the rise of all these amazing AI tools, I asked myself, would it be possible to make a highly clickable thumbnail that's fully made with AI? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make amazing thumbnails with one free AI tool. You've probably heard of Adobe's generative fill feature in Photoshop. And I actually did not know this, but you can use this feature for free in your browser. You don't need to have Photoshop. I will show you later how you can do this. So for this challenge, I'm going to need an idea for a YouTube video. So I asked ChatGPT if he could give me a crazy idea for a video, and I'm going to make it in the style of one of the greatest YouTubers of all time, Mr. Beast. All right, a 24 hour treasure hunt challenge within a massive maze. Exciting. So the AI made thumbnail needs to be fully made with AI. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to tell me how this thumbnail needs to look like. It has given me four conditions that the thumbnail must meet. One, a maze-like pattern with a vibrant background. Two, an image of Mr. Beast in the foreground with a surprised expression. Three, contestants within the maze holding for instance flashlights or doing challenges. And four, cash or gold coins throughout the thumbnail representing the treasures. All right, let's dive right in. So what you want to do is go to Adobe Firefly. I have put the link to this in the description of this video. Here you have a lot of free beta features Adobe is working on for you to test out. They have a text to image generator, a 3D to image generator, and a lot more. However, we are going to use the generative fill feature for this video. So how this normally works is that you upload an image and you can change this image by selecting parts and putting in prompts similar to a text to image generator to change that specific part. New Maybach and I painted it gray. However, I want to generate a completely new image. So I'm uploading a white image to start with. With this generative fill tool, you can simply select a part of your image you want to change and then describe the thing you want to create. For instance, let's create a lovely post-apocalyptic city and let's put in a beautiful toxic orange style sky and maybe a pretty mountain and a cute AI robot overlooking the amazing work it has achieved. Hmm, what a pretty sight. However, I'm going to try and make a thumbnail with this tool. So the first thing on our list ChatGPT created was a maze-like pattern with a vibrant background. So I'm simply going to select the area where I want the maze to be. Then I'm going to describe what I want Adobe to generate. In this case, a giant maze. And select generate. As you can see, Adobe will always give you four options to choose from. However, if none are what you are looking for, you can always press more. And Adobe will generate four more options. When you find one you like, you need to press keep. So let's move on to the background. Again, I'm going to select the background and let's look for some beautiful blue skies. Choose the one you like and select keep. Now the second thing on the list was an image of Mr. Beast in the foreground with a surprised expression on his face. So this program is trained on Adobe stock footage. Therefore, it is not able to generate an image of Mr. Beast. So I'm simply going to select the area I want the image to appear and instruct it to generate an image of a surprised person looking at the camera. Generating people is something this program is not so good at, as you can clearly see. So let's cancel this and let me show you how you can make it slightly better. First, I want to make them a little bigger. And again, I'm going to hit generate. Now choose the one that you like and select keep. As you can see, the eyes are very distorted. So what you want to do is simply select the eyes and make new ones. In this case, I'm instructing it to generate eyes looking at the camera. This is a lot better. So if you are going to generate people, you will probably have to change some parts with this method to make them look right. For a thumbnail, you want to use bright and contrasting colors so the things you want the focus to be on will stand out. So in this case, the woman has a light blue shirt on. And as you can see, 
The contrast with the gray maze and blue background is not so high. So I want to change the color of the shirt to a bright green. This way, it will stand out a lot better. Sadly, it didn't do much. What you can do is change the settings of the generation. To do this, you want to select Cancel and then select the three sliders next to the Generate button. We are going to focus on the Preserve Content and Guidance Strength sliders. By increasing the Preserve Content slider from Original to New, the generated image will be less like the original part of the image you selected. And by increasing the Guidance Strength from the original image to the prompt, the generated image will look closer to the description you gave Adobe than the part of the image you selected. All right, on to part number three, contestants in the maze doing challenges. This will be some detailed work. So I'm going to change the brush size at brush settings. And let's zoom in on the part where our first contestant will be. Again, selecting the area, and let's try a person with a flashlight. And maybe in a red shirt, so the person will stand out more. Now let's see if we can make someone do a challenge. Let's, for instance, place a ladder here. Very cool. And now let's place someone on the ladder. And let's give this person a blue shirt. Maybe place this person a little higher, as if he or she is looking over the maze. I'm going to add a large prize in the middle, but I want to have someone pointing towards it standing on top of one of the blocks in the maze. So let's create this person first. Maybe expand it a little bit. And let's make this person look directly into the camera. And now for the last step, cash or gold coins throughout the thumbnail. Let's place a large dollar sign right in the center as the main prize and something to catch the eye of the viewers when seeing the thumbnail. I'm going to show you one last bonus trick you can use. I think the person in the yellow shirt needs to stand out a bit more. So let's draw the shape of an exclamation mark above his head. Now let's say I want a bright red exclamation mark here. Again, describe it and go to the three sliders next to the generate button. Now I'm going to change the match shape from freeform to conform. This way, the generated image will follow the shape you have drawn, in this case, in the shape of an exclamation mark. Lovely. And there you have it, a thumbnail completely generated with AI. This was my first time working with the Adobe Generative Fill feature. I'm definitely going to use this tool for my thumbnails, although more to enhance them rather than creating complete thumbnails from scratch. Nevertheless, you can certainly do both. Let me know in the comments what you think of this thumbnail. And as always, please like and subscribe so I can make more of these videos for you. Until next time.